Right. But here's my thought process. Yeah. When I looked at all these receivers, oh, oh, right? Oh, oh, oh. There's a thought process, Chris. Let There's a thought let me, process. Let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, Devontae Adams, been to the NFC Championship game. Cooper Cup, been to a Super Bowl. Jamar Chase helped lead them guys to a Super Bowl in his first year. Tyreek Hill, he's won a Super Bowl. Stephon Diggs, he's been to an AFC Championship game. The next step for me when it comes to Jeff Je Justin Jefferson is getting to the playoffs. He hasn't been to the playoffs yet. Okay. Well, everything that you've said there has been dependent on who's throwing them the ball and their quarterback. And when I look yeah. at this list, I see five really elite quarterbacks that were throwing these guys the ball last year. So I just think that you don't like Kirk Cousins and you don't really think that the Minnesota Vikings are... They're cursed. They're cursed. Let's just be honest. I'm not. I'm not. All right, Chris. Cousins. Chris, not, what are your thoughts on this list? I'm not what are your thoughts on this list, Chris? Come on now. What are your I'm thoughts on this list? I, I, I'm still shocked from Emily saying that Justin Jefferson is the best big play threat in the NFL because <laughs> Jamar Chase's track record and his stats last year would say otherwise. No wide receiver had more 50 plus catches than Jamar Chase last year. I would have Jamar Chase as the number one receiver in the National Football League. You're talking about a player that was top five in yards, top five in touchdowns, and top fives in yards after catch per reception. The dude is a big play waiting to happen, and he's only going to get better. So that would be one of the tweaks that I would have what? on Harry's list. The other tweak that I would have, Cooper Cooper Cup is number two. I, I, listen, I, I appreciate that you. he won the Triple Crown, but if you ask if you if you ask defensive backs around the National Football League, that is Cooper Cup the guy that strikes fear in you based on the yes. receivers that we have on this list. Eight ball would eight ball would say doubtful. I, I'm just no, saying Cooper Cup is not so. in the same ilk as those guys, Justin Jefferson, Tyreek Hill, and Stephon Diggs. Matter of fact, Dominique Foxworth did this same list last week, and he said that Cooper Cup would not be a top four receiver when it comes to scaring opposing defensive backs. The other omission, and I don't even necessarily know if it's an omission, but it's worth a mention, DK Metcalf. You're talking about yeah. this guy being fifth in touchdown catches over the past three years. DK Metcalf is an absolute beast. I'm not sure who you're kicking off of this list to put DK in it, but he's one of those guys that we at least got to give an honorable mention to because now, the guy is an absolute stud. I, I, I want to talk about Cooper for a let, second, let me get, I got to get Chris really quick. Because those DBs, if we yeah. ask those DBs, well, if they were so damn good, those DBs, yeah. Why can't you stop him from getting 1,900 yards in a season? And can we talk about he was the MVP, led the league in receptions, well, reception well, you know yards, else, and you know reception really touchdowns. Good? You know who else is really okay. good? Who? You guys, who? you know who else is really good? Sean oh, McVay yeah. at his play design <laughs> and being able to scheme Cooper Cup <laughs> wide open. That's who's, that's who's yes. really good. So when we're having that conversation, but he wasn't controlling let's keep that him in to perspective, play. too. I know, but he well, wasn't but like he, a video game thing. controlling him out of play. And, 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 you know? I will, and I will say this, Chris. <laughs> um, I, I'm not going to sit up here and discredit all the things that Cooper Cup did last year because it's something to be said for when key moments are coming up in a ball game and you know Cooper Cup is getting the football, defenses still couldn't stop him. Yeah. It happened in the Super Bowl. It happened in the playoff game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And it's just something that we know. We knew Matthew Stafford was going to Cooper Cup. You know he's going to him in uh, crucial moments and key moments in games, but they still couldn't stop it. So I'm not going to sit up here and discredit that man for defenses yes. being terrible and not figuring it out. And you don't just get the MVP because you have a great coach. I'm not discred I don't want to discredit Cooper Cup. I'm not discrediting yeah. Cooper Cup. But, Harry, I want to ask you this question. Talk Who's me. the best cornerback in the National Football League? Who's the best cornerback? Corner? The best quarterback. quarterback is Jalen Ramsey. That's, that's who yeah. most people yeah. think is the best Ra quarterback. Ramsey. I just watched Jamar Chase torch Jalen Ramsey in the Super Bowl. So I don't understand how you have Jamar Chase well, that's behind why, Cooper Cup. That's why that doesn't I have make him sense to me. At number three, number Chris. Three. That's why I have him as number three as a right rookie. Here. That's number why three. I have him at number three. No, 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 no. He need to be he need to be number one on the list. No, 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 Chris, no. Cup. no Chris, let me tell you this. Devontae Adams number one. Jamar no. Chase number two. Everyone cool. here is shaking me, their head. Let me tell Chris this. Let me look into this camera and tell Chris this. That's cool. We can all disagree. That moonshine that you drinking. That's what makes it beautiful. Bring that moonshine to me because Devontae Adams is the best wide receiver. Receiver in the National <laughs> Football League, and no one has been better the last four years, Chris. Big the facts. last four years. Big hey, facts. man, nobody's drafting Cooper Cup number one out of the wide receivers in the National Football League. But that's, but that's not the question. But that's, not, not, but that's not the list. No, but that's not the list. drafting Cooper Cup number one. But that's we're not, not, we're not, not drafting but that's number not the two. list. That's not the list. I'm talking about being productive, You're saying winning your matchup, is being able to be counted on, Chris. Cooper Cup is able to be counted on. Chris, stop trying to argue with me. Oh, man, 
man, come on. You play D-line, Chris. Leave it to me. You put your hand in your dirt. I played against you. You were back there second, Matt Ryan. I'm not going to let you win this one. You beat me in a playoff game. Damn it, Chris, I'm done. All right, he's done. He's done. All right, Cooper Cup was the fourth player since the 1970 merger to lead the league. I didn't want Matt Ryan throwing to Julio Jones. (laughs) Okay, you know what? You know what? I want to also add, though, that Jamar Chase didn't even put himself on the top five list, so he deserves to be here. All these guys deserve to be here. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.